Hello again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, showing you around this rather lovely BMW E93, which is the convertible obviously, um, 325D M Sport. Um, finished here in Le Mans blue metallic paint um, over a cream Dakota leather interior. Um, it's had uh, only four owners from new, um, which for a, I guess a 12 year old car is, is quite low average. Um, it's the LCI model, so it's a 2012, so it's got the LED front and rear lights. Um, it's the six speed auto. Uh, it's got a full service history. We've got a service book with um, 11 stamps in it. The latest one was uh, was just by ourselves to prepare the car for sale. Start, stops and drives exactly as it should um, in excellent all, uh, overall condition, I should say. A couple of very minor marks on it, but um, on the whole, really, really tidy car. It's done... Uh, from memory, 93 and a half thousand miles. Um, yeah, we'll stick a 12 month MO2 on it for the new owner. I've got two keys with it. Um, I've got all the original book back and everything. Yeah, it's a really tidy car. Um, we'll go around it now and show you it in some detail. So there is a little mark on the bottom of the bumper here. It's just caught a curbstone, I would think, or something quite small. Um, no other scratches on this front bumper corner it does have auto xenon headlights. Um, it does have the white LED DRLs. These indicators are LED as well. Both the headlights are crystal clear. As you can see, there's not really any other marks on the bumper, if I'm honest, just that little scuff down the, the bottom there, which to be honest, you can't really see unless you get down pretty low to it. Uh, the bonnet's in really nice shape got a couple of uh, little stone chips there's a few that have been touched in as well but uh, yeah the majority of the bonnets in really nice shape I love this color I think this car looks fantastic in this color no real marks on that bumper corner we've got the 18 inch um, alloys tiny bit of curbing on this one there is a very slight lip on that disc but still loads of meat left on it and the pads are about half worn um, it does have a matching set of the uh, Bridgestone Potenzas which are all of them not very old there's loads of life in all four I've already checked them um, these were the tires that were fitted this car at the factory because um, it doesn't have a spare that's why it has the run flats um, but yeah it's um, Probably a good thing it's got the uh, the 18 inch wheels. It just rides a little softer than the 19s. Driver's door. We've got a car park door ding just here. That's a bit of grass. But that is a, another little car park door ding just there. Otherwise that door's in really good shape. Wing mirrors are all good. Windscreen's all good. The rear quarter is in excellent shape. There is, so this, um, this is black paint on top of this metal, which is what the roof sits down on. It's just worn a bit of the black paint off there. That's not something on it. That's actually where the paint's come off. Uh, it doesn't affect anything. Um, another nice 18 inch wheel, tiny bit of curbing again. Another Bridgestone. Rear discs, similar uh, to the fronts. I'd say they're about half worn. And the rear pads are about half worn as well. Round to the rear. So it does have rear parking sensors, as you can see. And the rear is actually in really good shape. The rear lights are, the, are perfect, no moisture in any of the lights anywhere. Everything's working as it should. It does have um, 
soft closed boot it's obviously got the roof folded in it at the moment but it's uh we'll put the roof up in a minute when i started it started that excellent straight six turbo diesel engine nice clean twin exhaust no marks on the on the near side rear quarter that's a handprint where i just had it validated that's not a scratch or anything there No real marks on, just having a look over it on the rear there at all. Another nice presentable alloy. Distant pads, same as the other side. Passenger door is pretty much spotless I'd say, can't see any marks on that one. And then finally around to the front wing there is a little mark here. Just in front of my thumb there. And that's kind of it, the rest of it in really good shape. And then we've got one more lovely 18 inch wheel again, a tiny bit of curving and the last Bridgestone. So externally, for its age and mileage, I'd say it's in very good shape. It's just as nice inside. So we've got the full cream leather interior. The um, seats are electrically adjusted, both driver and passenger. Bit of leaf there. Uh, the front seats are heated as well. Rear seats are in nice order. It always seems to be the case that uh, not many people sit in the back of these convertibles, so the rears are always in pretty good shape. See this one here is also very tidy, as are the backs of the front seats. Another nice tidy door card. The driver's seat, got a bit of wear on this bolster, it is quite a big bolster because this is the M Sport. These bottom bolsters do come out a bit as well, which makes them a bit more comfortable, I find. And just ignore that mat, that's uh, so I don't get the carpets muddy, because it is muddy. Let's get in and we shall start her up. See, so yeah, as I said, we've got two keys. Oh, turn that down. Starts first time every time, runs very, very smoothly. So, that you just heard then was it's had a professionally wired in. Um, uh, dash cam, I'm trying to think of the word, just needs an SD card popping in it. Um, yeah, we can see the mileage there, just under 93,500. Um, we do have flappy paddles for the gearbox, leather multifunction M Sport steering wheel, which is in really, really good shape. Um, we've got dual zone climate control with air conditioning, which is all working as it should. Heated seats are superb, we do have uh, a CD player there. Um, we've got the business nav. Go on to that and show you the map, which is um, which is superb. It does have Bluetooth for um, phone calls and it will stream music via Bluetooth as well. Um, yeah, this is a really really good system. Nice and quick. Um, we've got obviously the controls for it there. That controls the uh, the hard top, which I'll put up in a sec. We do have cruise control with the brake function which means it will brake automatically for you to keep you at a speed if you're going down a hill um, yeah auto Z on headlights auto wipers auto dimming rear view mirror just trying to focus on the trees in the background um, yeah everything in here works exactly as it should um, it's a lovely car to drive absolutely legendary engine the the N57 straight six in this uh, but let's show you the uh, the roof going up. Try and catch it in the mirror. Here we go. Very fast the roofs on these actually, when you consider how complicated they are. All right, it's just putting the back bit down. That's locked in. I keep my finger down it will put all the windows up. 
that's them done now. Let's get out, you can hear that lovely engine. Have a look at the roof. That's the great thing about these hard top convertibles. You know, you can drive them all year round because they're so quiet compared to a soft top. But yeah, the roof on this is obviously working perfectly. Um, see these lovely LED lights. And that superb engine. Smooth as silk at the front end. Well, there it is, our 2012 uh, BMW 325D convertible.